Desktop PDF is easy enough for novice users to use, but also provides advanced settings to let you customize your output. From Desktop PDF Pro, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the settings pane. Three subsections include document, text, and graphics. The document subsection lets you choose your output format and the page range for the conversion. The text options provide the ability to adjust how Desk on PDF handles text grouping and font selection. The word processing option creates a conversion that's most recognizable to what the typical word processing application creates. This format is best suited if you're using a word processing application such as Microsoft Word. The page layout option organizes the text within text boxes on a paragraph basis. This setting is more exact than the word processing option and is well suited for repositioning text and images but not ideally suited for content extraction. The line by line option organizes the text on a line by line basis, which maintains much of the specific formatting. This setting is useful for light grammatical revisions where the layout is important and the edits are not likely to require multi line changes. In the per character option, the text layout is an exact representation of the PDF. This is useful for character based edits, but not ideal without an exact font substitution and also this setting has a significant impact on the file size. The unformatted option is a transfer of all the content into a document without any bounding considerations to assist the text placement. So this format is used when the content recovery is the only requirement and complete removal of any formatting is desired. You can choose the default font and point size. So this is useful if there's a font in the PDF that's not found on your system or when a new font is desired for the converted document. The graphic subsection gives you options on how Desk and PDF handles graphical elements, such as images and lines. The default is to include both. And under advanced options, you can customize your vector rasterization and the image size. If you want to save these settings to be used at a later date, you can save it as a profile. From the toolbar, select Profile, Save Settings As, type in the name of the profile, and it's now available to you from the menu bar the next time you want to automatically include all of these settings. One of the handy things about using Desk on PDF is that it can handle multiple PDFs at once or batch processing. To begin, simply open your PDF and you can then open another PDF. And you can see the PDFs are now grouped by tab. Another way to add a PDF to the batch is to simply drag and drop it into the Desk on PDF program. And at this time you could click Convert All to automatically convert all these files. Another easy way to convert multiple files at the same time is to simply select multiple files and right click. To select multiple files, simply hold down your control key. When you right click, you can convert them inline or open them up in the UnPDF program. Let's convert all of these to HTML as an example. The PDFs have now been converted to HTML. You can open them in your default browser. You can see the files are accurate to the original PDFs. This is very useful for individuals or organizations who want to make PDFs available online as HTML. The next thing I'd like to demonstrate is the OpenOffice integration. If you're using OpenOffice from OpenOffice Writer, you can open up a PDF using Desk and PDF. Simply select File, Import PDF with Desk and PDF, or you can use the Desk and PDF drop-down menu from the toolbar or you can just select the desk and PDF button. Select the PDF you want to open and the PDF opens in line in OpenOffice. For more information on any of the advanced features available in desk and PDF, please view the user guide available at docudesk.com.